There's been a question that has been burning in my mind for the past week, and I'd like to present it to open up the R group tonight. When it snows, why do people buy milk and bread? Is there some recipe out there for a milk sandwich that I'm not aware of that makes people flock to the store? I don't know what milk you buy, but the milk I buy has to be put into the refrigerator to keep from spoiling. And nothing makes more sense to buy before a storm when the electricity could go out than things that will spoil if there's no electricity. Why do we do that? It's questions like that that keep me up at night. And I know they do as well. You can talk amongst yourselves after the, our group tonight to try to figure that out. What's up? Good to see you guys. Glad you survived the snow Mageddon, the snow apocalypse, um, the winter excitement, the first snow of 2013. It was a little bit anticlimactic for me. Uh, a little icy at my house. Couldn't even build a snowman, and Leah and I were devastated. So, hoping for a big one um, in the next few weeks where we can have some fun and sled and hurt ourselves. A uh, couple of things that I want to let you know of before we get started tonight. As you heard Pastor Paul talk about last week and this week, and we're going to continue to talk about it, we're excited about the trips that we have planned to Cuba this year. We are excited, and we want you to go. You've seen the videos. You've heard the stories. You've seen the pictures. The people are wonderful over there. The landscape, I mean, it's beautiful over there. The coffee is the bomb. If you've never had it, you need to. And a lot of other cool things up there. God is doing some great things, not only in the church that Revo helped to start, but in a lot of other churches, over 60 churches that have been started in the past few years. We're excited to be partnered with them. But I don't want to just ask you to go. I don't want to just make the opportunity available. As a church, we want to help eliminate as many excuses that you may have as to not to go. And one of the reasons that uh, a lot of people may not be able to go is finances. Um, and so what we've tried to do is we've, we've actually wanted to put our money where our mouth is as a leadership team. And we've set aside some money uh, out of our budget that will help provide scholarships for people to go to Cuba. So if money is a thing for you, I want you to, to talk to Pastor Paul, get in touch with us, and we'll let you know um, some ways that not only you can raise some money, but the ways that we can help partner with you and provide scholarships to help eliminate those excuses um, for not going. So we want you to go, and uh, we believe in what God is doing. We believe in not just going to church, but going out and being the church, not just in this city, um, but to the ends of the earth, uh, like Jesus said in the book of Acts. So we're excited about that. Sign-ups will be at the Connections desk after every uh, 11 o'clock and 6 p.m. service at Revo until the spots fill up. So let us know. Another thing, the 27th Sunday is our first all-in of 2013. You don't want to miss that, seriously. Who wants to miss that? Nobody. Sign up for that online. If you know of somebody that even is slightly interested, that has some questions about Revo, that knows how to spell Revo, like invite them. They'll have the opportunity to get their questions answered, and there's no obligation. Um, you don't have to join there. Uh, we're not going to make you join. We're not going to chastise you if you don't join. Um, it's just time for information to get questions answered to help people move forward in their relationship with Jesus. I mean, we really have set up our membership um, criteria at our church based on helping people become more like Jesus and moving forward in their relationship with Him. So sign up for that. We'd love to see you. Free lunch and child care is provided. Now, let's talk about this text that Pastor Wes brought the thunder on on Sunday. I hope you got it. If you weren't able to be there and you haven't heard it yet, remember that all of the sermons are posted online at discoverrevo.com and on iTunes by Sunday night. So if you miss a message or maybe you heard it and you'd like to share it with somebody else, um, you can post that on your Facebook page, email a link to people, tweet about it, the whole deal, and uh, listen to it before you come to your R group if you miss it on Sunday so you can participate with us tonight. But he had a tough text when Jesus said to cut off your hand if it causes you to sin. Is he being serious? Like He knows we're all sinners, right? And he knows that 
that we all have two hands and all his disciples had two hands. Here was the, the point that Jesus was trying to drive home. Not, not just on a physical level, but in a spiritual level. Like if there's something in your life that is separating you from God, the sin, the unconfessed, unrepented sin in our lives, Jesus says, man, you got to cut that out. You've got to take proactive steps in your life to get whatever it is that's in your life that's keeping you from having a real, close, intimate relationship with God. And Jesus says, hey, no matter how important it seems to you, no matter how crucial it seems, no matter how dependent you think you are on that aspect of your life, just like we're dependent on our hands uh, today, he says, man, if you had to choose between losing whatever that was in your life, no matter how important or great you think it is, and choosing a, a closer walk with Jesus and becoming more like Him and enjoying that intimacy with Him, He says, man, weigh, weigh the costs. Think about that. And focus on what really matters. And do whatever you need to do to get that sin out of your life, to remove that, to cut it off. And Jesus uses this strong language to talk about the severity of sin and how that can take over our lives and what that does to separate us from Him. So good luck tonight as you unpack that, tackle that. And I'm praying that tonight would lead to a time of just personal confession and repentance um, for you just, just personally and um, to, to figure out what it is that we need to do, how we need to take this sin and do whatever it takes to get it out of our lives to be closer to Jesus and to be more like Him. So thanks for hanging out tonight. Have a great night. And if we don't see you before, we'll see you Sunday. Remember, one more thing. Anything that happens tonight, man, something from the message, something that your our group leader says, put it on Twitter. Uh, hashtag it tough sayings. Even if it's just snapping a picture of your R group saying, hey, I love these people or having a good time or whatever. Hey, we want to promote that. We want to invite people to it. And we want to be able to learn from you. If your R group leader says something awesome, which they do every week, I mean, let's be honest, then quote them on that. Hashtag it um, tough sayings. And we'd love to know what God is teaching you and how you're moving forward in your group. Have a good night. We'll see you Sunday.